Question 9. Jenny runs a store in the local farmer's market. One week she made 20 fruit cakes and 15 chocolate tech cakes to sell on the store. She planned to sell fruit cakes at £6 each. Okay. And chocolate cakes at £2 each. The cost of making each type of cake is half the normal selling price. She sold three quarters of the fruit cakes at full price and decided to sell the rest of them at 70% of the normal price. She sold 13 chocolate cakes at full price and the rest of them at half price. So that links in with that. Okay. How much profit did Jenny make? You must show all your workings. Okay, it's a lot of information there. But as long as we take it steady, the actual maths involved isn't that difficult at all. It's just quite a lot of it. So we want to know how much profit she made. So obviously we need to work out the cost of making the cakes. How much money she gets when she sells the cakes and then look at the difference of those two to find out a profit. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the cost of making the cakes. So cost of making the cakes. Okay, so that's our first part. Right, so the fruit cake first of all then. Right, it said that the fruit cakes are going to cost £6, and there's 20 of them, but the cost of making the cake is half the normal selling price. So, if she sells them at £6, it means it cost her £3 to make them. So, three for each cake, and there was 20 of them. Three times 20 is £60. So, it cost her £60 to make the fruit cakes. Now the chocolate cakes. Okay. They were being sold at £2 each. So because the cost of each cake was half the normal selling price, it means that those cakes cost a pound to make. And there were 15 of those. So they cost £15 to make. So altogether the cakes cost... £75. Okay, so that's the first part done. Now we're going to look at the profits involved with selling them. So, looking first of all at the fruit cakes. Okay, remember now we had 20 cakes. And remember that each cake was £6. I'm going to put that information there to help me to remember what I'm doing. Okay, it says that she sold three quarters of the fruit cake at the full price. Okay, we had 20 cakes and she sold three quarters of them at the full price. So three quarters of 20 is 15, divided by four times by three. So she sold 15 cakes at full price. So full price. 15 times £6, which is £90. Okay. I decided to sell the rest of them at 70% of the normal price. Okay, so the normal price was £6. We need to find 70%. So 10% of £6 is 60 pence, isn't it? Sorry, so 70% of £6 is 7 times 60 pence, so that's £4.20, okay? And she sold 5 of those cakes because she'd sold 15 at full price, so 5 cakes were sold at £4.20. So 5 times £4.20... Well, 10 times £4.20 is 42, half of that is 24. 
Okay, so the, the, the total cost in on the fruit cake then is she sold £90 worth and £24 worth. So altogether she had £114 from selling fruit cake. Now let's look at the chocolate cake. Okay, on the chocolate cake it says that she sold 13 of them at full price and the rest at half price. So remember now there were 15 cakes and they were £2 each, weren't they? So put that information there so I know what I'm doing. 13 chocolate cakes at full price. So third at full price, I've got... 13 times 2, 26 pound, and the rest of them were at half price, so that's the further two of them at half price, well half of two pound is one pound, so half price is going to be two times one pound, so that's two pound, so all together the chocolate cakes bring in 28 pounds. So that's our chocolate cake. Okay. Right. Almost there now. So the total for the for the fruit cake and the chocolate cake. It's £114 plus £28, so that's going to give us £142. Okay, so on the day in the market then, Jenny sold £142 worth of goods, but she'd spent £75 on making the cakes to begin with. So a profit, overall profit is £142, take away the cost of making the cakes. It's so 5 from 2 you can't do, 7 from 3 you can't do, £67. So a final profit was £67. Now I know it looks like a lot of work, but like I said, most of the maths in here is really easy and it's just a matter of setting it out and going through it carefully, step by step. And you should be successful by the end, but always show all your method so that if you make mistakes, the examiner can still award you marks.